Okay, we've been looking at Lewis dot structures and then bonding between simple one-to-one -one sodium and chlorine to form sodium chloride or table salt. I now want to look at a different compound now using calcium with chlorine like before. So as before, we can draw our seven valence electrons and calcium, unlike sodium, has two valence so we can fill those in like that. Alright, now here's the difference. First of all, this is road salt as opposed to table salt. But if you notice, the formula for calcium chloride can't be CaCl because this chlorine would be okay having that donated electron to give it a minus one charge. But you'll notice you still have a free valence electron over here that calcium wants to donate to somebody. So calcium needs another chlorine to do that. So you have to draw a second one in there. Seven valence electrons like before. Doesn't really matter where you put them, but I like to always say you put them so you can easily donate right into that little vacant spot right there. Now if you look at this, you'll notice everything's happy here. Minus one for both of the CLs, which they're allowed to do and they want to do. They want to gain, remember these guys gain an electron. This one also gains, but now in the case of calcium, it loses, like always with metals, but it loses two. This gains one, and this gains one. And calcium's charge, as a result, is plus two. So the final answer down here, if you get rid of all the diagramming, is Ca, Cl, Two. And from the name, you wouldn't necessarily know what the formula is. However, I'll show you a shortcut in the next lecture. But this would be called calcium chloride.